am going to be working on my kitchen. I'm just going to really be putting on the soap dispenser that came with our faucet here. So I've already installed this. This was pretty easy. Um, the soap dispenser that came with it uh, was this one here. I was originally not going to put this on um, because we do have a soap dispenser already which is this but um it's starting to get a little bit annoying um with using this here and just trying to eliminate as much space as i can on the counters um so i don't already have a hole to put the soap dispenser on so i am going to have to drill the hole and we have a granite countertop so i went ahead to home depot and i brought um a diamond drill bit this one is made by milwaukee um, diamond max this is um, a quarter i'm um, sorry inch and a quarter size drill bit um 32 millimeter um, of course i am going to be wearing eye protection during this uh, process here and i also had to get um an arbor so this is just that little piece that goes into the middle um and also without this i can't like put this, attach it to the drill. So um, definitely needed that. So, and I have my drill here. It's a Craftsman drill. Um, you know, you can use any drill that you want and it just pretty much sits in here like that. And, um, you know, I'll twist it on there a little bit later. So you'll see that. So with that being said, so I measured eight inches from center and what that means is that um, it's just eight inches from the center of the hole from the faucet so you might not be able to see it but i'm going to show you where i marked um eight inches from the center of the the faucet all right so i didn't take the faucet off to measure eight inches from center um because it is obvious of what the center of the faucet would be so the center is like literally the center of this uh circle here so that's where i measured from right here and then up here you can probably see this little blue mark uh, which is where eight inches fell from the faucet and I also already went underneath the sink just to make sure that there are no obstructions in the way and things like that. Um, so we're in the clear. Um, so I'll be cutting right here where that X marks the spot. Um, don't need to put anything in the back to cover anything. Um, so we should be good. Of course, we're going to have eye protection um, to go from there. All right. So to start here. We have our tools and supplies. So, of course, we have the soap dispenser. Uh, this is the bottle, of course, that will have the soap. Later on, I'll switch that out and just get a really long tube to go from the, the soap uh, refill straight to the dispenser instead of using this bottle. Um, I have some water here because um, a bit, of course, does get um, the bit does get a bit hot. <laughs> the bit gets a bit. OK, <laughs> um, but yes, the bit does get hot hot and we don't want it to overheat and of course that is something that um, comes with the instructions of using the um, diamond bit and it helps prolong life of your bit so this way you're not buying any more $30 bits because this this alone the red bit here was $30 plus an additional um, I think 15 for that little arbor piece that connects to the drill. Um, so it's just regular, you know, water here. Um, that's pretty much it. And I have my safety goggles already on. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. No need to turn off any water or anything because you're not touching any water. Um, but if you feel that you do need to turn some water off, of course, by all means, do what you feel. So, yeah. All right, we're going to go ahead and get right into this drilling.
bit of time to get it actually started but once I did get it started it was just uh, uphill from there um, all the dust that you see is from the granite itself and that's a good sign I did watch a YouTube video prior to this to make sure I had the tools and what I was doing was the right way to do it so it did say not to use so much pressure but the anchor or the arbor that was on the pole saw it's not a drill bit sorry um, was retractable so it had like a little push to it so you did have to push it a little bit um, or put pressure on it a little bit but I don't think I put too much pressure on it having to get another hole saw because the first one it was getting dull and I was trying to sharpen it with the sharpening stone and the brick and it just wasn't working out um, so I just ended up paying that extra $30 again to get one but once I did it finally got it through and it did take me a couple of days to actually to get this hole like a hole because I was also working while doing this step is not necessary I just wanted to do it just because I, I just wanted to do it um, I just wiped it down with Clorox wipes and then right after that I came with a paper towel to dry up that spot before I put in the soap dispenser It was a fairly easy installation process for the soap dispenser. Just screw on that little nut there. Um, you want to push it up after you get it as close as you can. Um, and then it locks into place and it just holds it just like that. that's it i appreciate you guys for tuning in and watching next episode we're going to be working on reupholstering some of our outdoor furniture well we only have like a table and two chairs for outdoor furniture so i'm going to be reupholstering that um taking the boards off and putting new boards and some cushions on um and maybe some floral fabric I, I don't know yet i haven't picked out the fabric but um just stay tuned for the next episode and i will catch you guys later make sure that you subscribe turn your post notification on comment like do whatever you want share and i will catch you guys next time